Hi everybody, Pastor Jonathan here. This is the time for our weekly devotion and what a pleasure it is to take a little time out just to reflect on a word of God together. I look forward to having this time with you every Thursday as you come to our church's Facebook page. This place that you see me in today is the living room of our home in Fuquay Verena. Behind me, there are works of art by the Japanese artist Sadao Watanabe, and they depict different scenes from the Bible. The one on my far right is the flood. The one in the middle is the Last Supper. The one on the left is the first Pentecost. I love these because when I come home at the end of the day, I can see something familiar. I can be reminded of that family history that we have and just feel at peace, rest a little bit. The longer we're here, of course, the more artwork and reminders of North Carolina we'll have too, right? What does rest look like for you? What does it feel like when you get home or when you get to that place, wherever it might be, where you can simply let, let off a little steam and relax? A lot of our customary understandings of work and rest have flipped upside down recently. Many of us are working at home these days. Others of us have lost jobs, been furloughed, or maybe even told that our work is no longer there for us. For many of us, there is the opportunity to work and to play and to rest in the same spot. So it may seem a little difficult to understand what is going on when we think about our work life and our play life and our rest life and keeping those all separate. The good news is that the most important kind of rest, the rest that our heart needs, is a gift that comes from God's hand. And especially in this season of Easter, it's exciting and important to remember that the promises of God that point to that gift of God's rest are gifts we receive in Holy Scripture. I'd like to read this one passage from Psalm 116, the appointed psalm for this week, especially verses 7 through 9. Return, O my soul, the psalmist writes, return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you, O Lord, have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A good night's rest for many of us will be going to bed on time, waking up in the morning refreshed. An opportunity to play might be having a little extra time at the end of the day just to simply unwind in front of the television set or to go down the street and walk around the block, walk the dog, whatever it might be. There are all kinds of opportunities that we need to take, especially during this season of the coronavirus crisis, to care for ourselves to get the physical rest that our bodies need. That's what doctors are telling us. So many schedules are kerflui these days, and so to prepare ourselves for the unexpected, it's important that we care for ourselves. But when we have opportunity to care for one another, and we're looking for opportunities to live out that promise of life in the land of the living that the psalmist writes about, we start knowing that the most important work has been taken care of. Jesus has carried our burdens. Our sins are forgiven. And today and all week long, we can simply rest. Even while we're working, we can rest in the knowledge that that work is accomplished. It'll help our work go a little better. It'll also enable us to play a little more enthusiastically too, I think. Let's close with a prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you that in the person of Jesus Christ, you have done it all. You have accomplished everything needed for us to know what peace with you looks like and what eternal rest, starting right now, truly is. Thank you. We pray that as we work, as we seek to serve, as we live out each day, you would calm our hearts with the knowledge of your presence with us Help us to know that you are always with us, whatever, to, whatever tomorrow brings, and that you encourage us to work, to play, and to rest through Jesus Christ, our loving Lord and Savior. 
It's in his name that we pray. Amen. I invite all of you to keep in touch with all that we're doing at Resurrection to serve you and our community. Most importantly, we're listening for your feedback in our pre-produced worship services. We'd like to move into a process of live streaming our services, which enable us to continue to produce remotely viewable content, even once our sanctuary space starts to fill up with with uh, people that are that are you know in person worshiping together but as we do that we simply invite you to give us your feedback keep us in your prayers as we lead you and uh, thank you for your continued support of our ministry through your financial offerings and your prayers we love you and we pray god's blessing be with you today